All right, guys. So I did say I was gonna make a video on the uh, autonomous. This is the, uh, not the business one, but this is the first class. So I'll give you guys a run through. I got everything all installed. Um, this is just my little music. So this is the control here module. So when I click to go up, you can see the numbers. The highest that it can go is 51. I'm, trying, I'm gonna go all the way to the top here for you guys to see here. 51.1 at the very highest. And I'm 54 inches tall, so here you guys can see. You guys can see me. How this is up to my shoulder here. Up to my shoulder, 51 inches here in height. And at and then we'll go do at the very lowest here. So you guys can see this. So you guys can hear the machine working. At the lowest is 30. Whoa. Oh, it can go lower than that. Oh, 29.9. So 29.9 at the lowest. And this is my office desk. So they're very, uh, very even, very even, uh, very even out here. Because this office, this desk here is uh, standing at 20, 29, 30 inches tall. Same um same okay so same like um same height i have not tried the one two three four memory but i'm just gonna have it set at 40 here no 38 so one of the main problems for buying the uh uh the one the the biggest problem for buying the first class Versus buying the Smart Desk One or the Smart Desk Two or the uh, Business Edition, they give you a classic tabletop. So I'm gonna—I don't know if I got the video right, but you can see these pre-drilled holes. And the problem was when you when I put the stand here, this big stand, the hydraulic stands. They they did not match up to the pre-drill hole. So if you look, you look right here, you can see the pre-drill hole set up right here that it missed out the alignment and how it went right here and lined up to this side, but it didn't line up to that side. And so and you can see all these pre-drill holes here that don't even have nothing to do with and nothing to do with the uh um with the with the setup on the stand here now this is the electric box for the uh for the revolt to control the the ride height uh the height here of the desk and uh you get two wires make sure you connect to the actual one because it says m1 and m2 so make sure you connect it to the right one and then you got the uh electrical outlet down here um very basic setup to be on um you got these these can come out put your power cables through here these are very easy to come out they're not tight so they're really really loose so they come off right away um this desk you can see the scuff marks here so it can be scuffed up and scratched up pretty good. This is this wood. When, so I'll show you what I was using to drill holes. Where is it at? I don't even know where I put it. Where is this thing at? Put it somewhere. Um, crap. Where did I put it? Okay. I darn it, I don't even know what I did to it. <laughs> what? Crap. 
It's going to be a long video if I can't find it. Um, what? I'm trying to find my my hand drill. I don't know where it's at. What the heck? Seriously? It's not back here either. Okay, well, I had to buy a, hand, um, a drill set and drill some new holes for every single one of these screws here. For every single one of these screws. So there's 18 screws. And uh, I had I had a long talk with, uh, yeah, I had to drill every single screw into the table because those pre-drill holes were, were way off. So what, so what Autonomous told me, this is the brand here, uh, Autonomous, they told me that they, were, they gave me a 15% refund and then also, also, <clears throat> they told me that uh, the, this is a classic tabletop, so it, it doesn't, the pre-drill holes are way off, so it won't align properly with the uh, first class uh, setup. So this is the first class, not the business edition or the home edition or the smart desk two or the smart desk one. This is the first class and they told me that uh, mo uh, all the orders come with the classic tabletop so it doesn't so the pre-drill holes don't align uh, correctly with these uh, with the with the stands here. So I learned that the hard way. Uh, I had I was f I was fumbling around trying to figure out how to put this desk together and line it properly with the pre-drill holes for an hour. And uh, I had to talk with autonomous customer su customer service support for like half an hour to figure out if I had the right tabletop. And so, if you do get the if you do get the first class desk, you have to drill your own holes. You have to drill the your own screws in into the table. I would not suggest like you can see, it's maybe like a quarter a quarter inch a quarter inch thick. So you don't want to try and and drill through the table uh, with a pre-drill set that, that, that you have. And I don't know what I did to the, if I can find you, I can show you exactly what I used. Cause I don't know where this thing is at. I thought I put it, I thought I put it in here. Let me check. And got the kids toys here. Check this. I think it's in here. Let me see here. Crap. Oh man, it's not even in here either. Dude, I don't even know what my wife did to it. Got a bunch of boxes in here. Um, crap, I don't even know. This is my little sound system. I thought I put it somewhere. Oh, come on. It's gotta be. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> oh. Dude, I'm making this hard. I don't know where where it's at, but what I did is I went to Home Depot and I bought um, uh, I bought the uh, I bought the ri rigid drill set, and here I'll I'll just get on the computer here. I'll show you exactly what I bought here. So this is exactly what I bought at Home Depot. I bought the uh, the rigid 18 volt X4 uh, light, uh, lithium you know, cordless drill driver impact driver tool combo kit. Comes with batteries. It comes with the bag, and then I bought the Dewalt uh, the Dewalt drill set for 10 bucks at Home Depot. And so, uh, very important because what I did was when I bought the set here. 
and then I put in the I put in the uh, the driver and 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 set in uh and and did some pre-drill holes first before I put the put up before I put the screws in. So very important to because when you because they're not pre-drill holes, so you have to drill your own holes first and then put these screws in. Now the good part about drilling through is that you can drill through right away. So the wood material is not as thick. And it's not like going through concrete or anything. Uh, the, the wood here is very, very smooth. You can go through with, <laughs> you can go through the whole quarter inch here uh, in a matter of less than a, less than two, three seconds if you went through it. So with the with the drill set. Um, but that is by far one of the downfalls. This is a this is a dual motor system, so this can handle over 300 pounds i think they said max was 400 and so i can i can put myself on this table i'll even demonstrate for you guys i can put myself on this table let me lower this down here i can put myself on this table and lift myself up okay so let me get on here i mean i'll, I'll even demonstrate you guys i'll even get on here okay so i'm sitting on here so you guys can see that i'm sitting on here let me, let me hit it back up. So notice that I'm still sitting on here and it's going up all the way to the top. All the way to the top at 51 inches right height here. So you can see that. And I weigh like, I weigh like 135, so. Now, when it's when it's really at fifty one inches, you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to try and wobble this thing. This thing um, does wobble, especially when it when it's at a really high uh, really high height, especially at fifty one inches at the very top. So now, when it's lower, you can see I'm trying I'm trying to shake this thing, so it's it's more it's more durable at a lower height than at a higher height. <laughs> um other than that like i said if you get the first class this is the first class so you have to drill your own holes unless you get the smart desk 2 or the or the first edition or their business and home edition but if you get the first class i even let me click on the site here and i'll show you exactly which one i bought here I'll show you exactly which one I bought so you guys can see what I. So notice when you go to their website, they have the Smart Desk 2, Smart Desk 3, the do-it-yourself first class mini and studio. So I have the, I went and bought the first class. Reason being why I bought the first class is because I went to the tech specs. Uh, so you can see the classic top, and they have a dual motor system that can handle 330 pounds. That's what they said. So the the smart desk can handle more weight and it and they said it's more durable. Reason being why I bought, yeah, reason being why I bought the smart desk, uh the smart desk first class versus buying just the regular smart desk uh two or one. So that was one of the main reasons because I'm gonna be putting I'm going to be putting dual monitors and my dual monitors are going to be 43 inches. And so the dual monitors I'm going to get, here, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to get here. I am actually going to get two of these guys. I'm actually going to get two of these guys right here. Uh, I already got one on the way. I'm getting another one. So these are the Dell 43 inch Ultra HD 4K multi client monitors. And you can split to four screens versus just doing two screens on, on one monitor. So this eliminates the access of, this eliminates of having six to eight monitors when you can have four split screens at once. I was told you can do more than four split screens on this, uh, on this Dell monitor. 
So once I get, I'm gonna do a test run and see how many screens I can split in one monitor. This is a 43 inch monitor. What I have right now, this is the AOC 27 inch, and then this is the Samsung 24 inch. So a well, 43 inch, I mean, this is a, this is a 53 by, this is a 53 by, uh, what did they have? 53 by, I forgot, 53 by six, no, but 53 by 65 or something, whatever it is on this table. So I'm very limited. I'm trying to put, I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I can put two on here. If not, then I'm going to have to get, um, control arms to, to put them on here. So, uh, that would be the next thing. And and uh i think that's all i got really um oh yeah 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 the the chair people were asking about the secret lab chair the secret lab chair you get this little head headrest pillow um this little back pillow now this is the purple mattress cushion so this is the purpose purple mattress uh seat cushion here this is the royal not just the basic one this is the royal cushion it's got you can see two inches thick of their pro whatever cushion they got um the, this is the throne 2018 secret lab throne here uh you can recline this thing all the way back the recliner is right here the downfall to this chair compared to my old computer chair is that especially for a short guy uh the problem is for a short guy you don't really have enough to uh, adjust your your height on this chair uh the adjustability on going up and down especially with using this uh using this it can go all the way it, to go up and go down i they told uh they told me the most it can do for this is probably like six to I think six to eight inches max going up and down. And this chair is is bigger than the other chair that I currently have. So the the next biggest chair they have is the Napa. And by all means, you don't I don't really need a Napa. <clears throat> It's bigger, it's wider, and this is the throne. And this, like just me sitting down, like my head barely comes comes to the pill here. Um, it hits my head just hits back here. So, for a short guy, uh, the cool part is you can adjust um these arm arms arm armrests here. Uh, you can very very good on pivoting around here. Um, not good for moving. It, I have to really push it to move around this carpet. So I'm going to have to get uh, a mat for this, which I would suggest. Um, I'm going to get a mat for this as well. I uh, don't know how much this will impact the carpet, but it's not my house. I'm renting this place, so we'll see. Um, like, we, like even same thing with the office desk here that I currently have. You, you, you basically, you be, you're basically denting the carpet because of all the weight that's pushed down on the carpet versus versus being supported on another mat and then on t on, the, on top of the carpet. So that's something to look into when you have. When you have a huge office space and you're putting a bunch of things in that that's that's gonna impact the carpet floor um other than that um once i'm finally done with the setup i will shoot a full video of what the office will look like and so i basically this is the biggest bedroom here i got a lot of stuff here Closet, clothes, um, my little karaoke thingy here, <laughs> uh, my vision board, the shoe rack, but I'm going to put some motivational art back here from Iconic and Canvas Cultures, 
And so there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be doing, um, decorating. And I'm not done setting up the office yet. So uh, there's, there's so much more stuff that I'm adding on into, into the office itself. And right outside the office, you can see the river. So that's it. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Any questions and comments about the autonomous desk? Yeah, feel free to let me know. And same thing with the secret lab chair. Um, that's a really good chair for me. It's just that I wish there was more adjustability for the height, which there isn't. So, but other than that, um, everything's turned out to be, everything is just, everything is a lot better than what it is before. So be, be doing more standing than sitting. And I, I, that's what I would suggest because you want to be, you want to be, yeah, you want to be standing up versus sitting down all the time.